Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. My name is Robert. In this how-to, we, we will be discussing how to create a simple XML document from an Excel 2007 document. To start with, we will need to install a plugin. Yes, I know this says Excel 2003 add-in, but this plugin works well. So first off, we'll go to this website provided by Microsoft and download the add-in. Then we will go ahead and install that add-in. Please make sure you notice where the installation goes. Here's a sample of what it did on my computer. Also, for part of the setup, we will need to go back into Excel and go to Excel Options. So click on Excel Options, and then we'll want to make sure one thing that you'll notice on the right, that we have the Show Developer tab in Ribbon selected, and then we'll go click on the Add-ins folder. Once you click on Add-ins, you can go down to Excel Add-ins and click Go. This will show you a list of the add-ins you currently have installed. So we'll go ahead and click Browse. We'll go to that directory I told you to look for in the beginning. This is where it is on my computer. C, Office Samples, Office Excel 2003 XML Tools add-in. You'll find the add-in there and go ahead and double click it or click OK. Now you want to verify that the checkbox is selected and click OK. Now that we have the Excel add-in installed, let's go run through how to quickly use it. So here is a sample Excel document with just a couple dates and some different ways you might want to break that down for reporting purposes. You'll see the year, the month, the day, and then two different formats for that particular date. And I want to convert this into an Excel XML table. So we will go over here and we'll go ahead and click on add-ins. Under add-ins you'll see we have XML tools. The first option there is convert a range to an XML list. That's what we want. So we'll go ahead and click that. And now it gives you this little pop-up. So what we want to do, the easiest way to do this for a small data set, is we'll go ahead and highlight the entire data set brings this back and you'll notice this other question down here says use first row as column names that's exactly what we have here we have the descriptions in the first row go ahead and hit OK you'll notice occasionally Excel will ask you if the formatting changes are appropriate in our case we want to use the existing format and there we go you'll notice Excel has now formatted formatted it in its own formatting style so now what we'll need to do is we'll go over to the developer tab and we'll go ahead and hit export. So let's go ahead and save this document. And actually I'll just save it to the desktop. XML test. And there we go. Let's go take a look at that XML and make sure it's right. So here's the desktop. Here's our file, XML test, and we'll go ahead and edit it. As you will notice, we have valid XML here. And so you can go ahead and look through this and make sure everything looks appropriate, but in our case it is. In this how-to, we showed you how to create a simple XML document from an Excel 2007 document. Thank you for joining, and please visit our Performance Architects How-To channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions. 